we're back in this bitch. Episode 27. Seven of the Brutal View podcast. I am John. I am Eddie. I'm Huddy. Huddy's on the tech now. He's officially here. The equipment is, uh, it is, uh, up. It has set It is in. erect. It is erect. It is erect. <laughs> um, did you want to actually start with that? No, it don't, don't matter. Yeah. That was a pretty good thing, because... That, that guy's funny as fuck, dude. I mean, we're recording this the day after Thanksgiving, but it's coming out on December 1st, so... I guess... Happy belated Thanksgiving Merry to Christmas. everyone listening and Merry Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Merry Christmas. Should we recap our Thanksgiving shits or should we just dive into Let's dive in. I didn't do anything really. Yeah. I was vibing. Yeah, I kinda didn't either. I didn't do shit. Alright, let's dive into it. Holy shit, I have so many things. Uh the reverse aging process. The link I sent you. Oh, dude, that shit was banana. Please lands, tell me dude. you sent, you saw that. That shit was cool as fuck. I'll dude. let fucking Huddy look at this while we're fucking talking about it. Um, I'll look it up. It's called reversed aging with oxygen. It's um with pure it's oxygen. A youth guy, but it's like reverse aging with pure oxygen. Air. Literally, uh, scientists have discovered how to reverse the aging of skin cells with fucking oxygen. With air. Like, you think we would just, like, do that normally. Well, we always thought the fountain of youth, right, is, like, reversing aging is going to be within, like, um, water, I think. We always thought it would be through medic- medicine, basically. Yeah. <laughs> just something other than pure fucking oxygen. Yeah, that's wild. All right, how do you want to read this to us? Administering pure oxygen in a pressurized chamber could reverse aging and illness. Research finds. Oh, jeez. Israel scientists <laughs> say they have managed not only to successfully stop the biological, well, biological aging process, but to reverse it using only oxygen. The fucking Jews did it, Dude, guy. Jews do everything. <laughs> Shit. Fucking Israeli scientists. That's fucking crazy, though, because... So we're at that point in life now, right? Like, this is... This is a here. downfall society, guy. <laughs> this is... They said, um, I don't know if it's in one of these articles, but they said it can reverse it up to 25 years. Now, my question is, does that mean your, sc- your, your skin cells and shit are literally 25 years younger? So if you're 25... And that's what I and was And you do it, say. you're going to look like a fucking baby. Or would I look like a one-year-old? That'd be, that'd be pretty funny. I don't know. Must be like for old wrinkly people. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I would assume it would be mainly for old wrinkly people. Like old wrinkly skin being pulled towards the underworld and shit. Yeah. That, I didn't even think of that. What if you were like 30 and then you just look like you're five years old? That'd be disgusting. You could always fuck a kid legally now. Pedophiles are in for it now. This is, fucking... <laughs> <laughs> this is good for the pedi- the pedos, the chomos. The chomos. The chomos. Go to the goddamn Jews for that. The fucking Jews, man. What is our thing this season? Isn't the Dems, right? Oh, the god. The fucking Democrats. Dems. Yeah. That's fucking cool, though. I feel like, I don't know. Do you think that's going to... Uh, evolve it has to right like in the next five years we're probably going to get this down to a fucking yeah true you know that'll be lit that's true how do you guys feel about online schooling um uh online schooling in general uh uh, with everyone going back to school and the covid and shit like that they're saying that online schooling is going to be a routine for everyone bro like kids like elementary school dumb middle school the fucking guy was saying, I saw this video where it was like a doctor. He was like, I hope you people know, like, this isn't going away. Yeah. He's like, but the way we take the coronavirus cases and report them, he was like, all the flu cases I get and we reported those, it's double. Yeah. He was like, you see double flu cases like this every year, but we don't report it like we do. We just say, oh, this is a high number of flu cases in this area this year, or this and that. And he was like, if you start doing that, You'll be scared for the rest of your life. He was like, 
It's not like it is. Fucking, it's so yeah much. I don't. I mean, I I when so I guess our generation online college really became a thing, right? Yeah, like it wasn't a thing before us. I feel like we could do it. Like not we a kid, not an elementary school kid. After graduating high school, too, you're kind of disciplined to like to do schoolwork yeah when i was try telling me when i'm fucking school bro 13 years old (laughs) yeah yeah you just sign online and do this i'm like yeah okay i'm just gonna get high sounds good (laughs) (laughs) yeah i don't know that's fucking i don't understand that it's bullshit i don't know do you have any thought on it i was working from home for like two months and i just kind of got sick of it so i'd clock in in the morning and then just go in my room, play Xbox. And then, like, <laughs> lunchtime, I would clock out, go play Xbox, and then uh, clock back in and go play some more Xbox all day. Nobody. You know? I don't know. Dude, I I'm think gonna, it's kind of stupid. I'm going to fucking put some real controversial shit out there. Okay. Right Fuck nurses, dude. Nurses? I'm sick of them bitching about everything with this fucking virus. <laughs> I mean, I think if anyone has a right to. <laughs> oh, man, you signed up for that job. You see the same thing like the flu, bro. You yeah. Don't, I don't see you posting about the flu like this. Yeah. I bet nurses didn't complain when polio was fucking hitting. Like, I bet they were just doing their jobs. Stupid same... bitches. <laughs> but, dude, like every time I go on something, bro, they're just like, you stay home so... I mean, I never see Thanksgiving, so like you can for a year. It's like... Well, I didn't sign up to not go to my Thanksgiving this year. If so COVID like, wasn't around, they'd still have to fucking work. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah. Like, I don't understand it, dude. Good for them for doing, like, helping us out, but it's like, fuck them. But I got a you. good hot take that I was seeing yesterday. Everybody complaining about Thanksgiving. What? A bunch of people, oh, white people stole the land. Oh, my God. Oh, fuck you. We... <laughs> We bought the land fair and square it's for some crushed seashells. my favorite fucking holiday. Seashells. I get to celebrate slaughtering a bunch of Indian people. <laughs> you know what? President did the Trail of Tears, right? Obama. <laughs> nah, it was Andrew Jackson. Fun yeah. little fact of the day. Really? Yeah. <laughs> no, represent the name Andrew. Right. Yeah, I don't know. That is kind of a good point, though. Like, why... If you're... Be- Coming a nurse, but it's like dude, you shouldn't complain about being a nurse. And it's like I kind of get. I know that. it's a big deal, but it's the same. It's they're literally telling you it's the same thing as the flu. Doctors, are, like, yeah. Don't worry about it. You're gonna get sick. Yeah. From the flu, from this, just fucking do your thing. Do your and thing. I don't think nurses are bitches from working in the medical field. No, I feel like I should clarify that. But you shouldn't complain. Shut up and do your job. Yeah. <laughs> Stop bitching. You see that the CDC just came out and said, oh, uh, two weeks is too long to quarantine if you got it. They're saying it's shorter now, like seven days, a week now. Uh, Our 74-year-old shit. president got it, and he was perfectly fine. <laughs> he, dude, they got, they got that cure, bro. They gave that shit to him, and he was just like... Hey. No, he's been taking hydrochloroquine the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> he's smart. He was thinking... That and some vitamins. Help an old man out. What did they... Did, they called it... Ro, what was it? Roba... What was the vaccine? Uh, they, they had a name for it, I think. You want to look that up? Robitussin. <laughs> it was something like that, right? Robitussin. <laughs> it was like Robocon. There's like Trump's vaccine had a specific name to it, and I think it started with an R. Robuctids or something? Robuctids. <laughs> Trump dropping the hard R, <laughs> as usual. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't, dude, I, I mean, so one of my coworkers, just her best friend just tested positive. <clears throat> so she had to get a test. She was negative, but the vaccine, um, yeah, Trump's vaccine name, I guess. Maybe. Trump's latest Trump tweet. Latest tweet. <laughs> <laughs> dude. It was, it was like Robaflux. It was some, like, cool, cool name like that. But that is exactly what we're distributing. So they already had it fucking... Ready when he was in president, they just didn't know if they should send it to the people yet because. He's glad I mean, I'm the greatest. Yeah. So do you think he's gonna die? Trump? No. Oh, Biden. Yeah. Oh yeah, hundred percent. I think that he's gonna get killed. I don't think he's gonna get They're killed. Gonna I think he's just gonna croak. He's gonna like he's medically unfit to be president. Or he's going to just die from no, being the, old. It, the 25th Amendment that they're coming out with. is 25th, maybe 26th. I don't remember right now. I could Google it right now. 
Were they coming up with a new amendment? Yeah. To take somebody out of office if they seem mentally unfit. That's what the whole left has been pushing for. <laughs> no, really? And it, yeah, everybody's like, oh, yeah, they're going to do it to take Trump out. No. They knew Biden was going to win with the rigged election. So they're coming out with an amendment. They're like, uh, yeah, that guy we elected, nah, he's not mentally fit. We're going to take him out. And then fucking she would take over. the Nancy yeah. Pelosi, I think, would be vice president. I don't want to stay on the politics, but this is going to get real ugly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this country is going to go real fucking left. <laughs> uh, so on this weird type of topic, they're saying that we're going to have COVID passports now. And that you won't be able to travel until you get, like, the COVID-free stamp on your passport. What? Dude, this is all fucking control. You have to get a passport on, or a stamp on your passport when you get a COVID test? They're not going to stop there. They're going to be like, all right, now people can only enter this country if they have these certain stamps on their passport. You know what I mean? Weird. Like, I don't know. Well, they shut down fucking the borders to mass, but yet people still come up for mass. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so COVID passports, where do you think this is going to lead to if this is a full effect? Yeah, it's gonna be, there is going to be a revolution, bro. Yeah, because COVID passports is official. Like, this is actually happening like, where you cannot go to certain countries or take. Basically, they don't want Americans coming into their country. Because we fucked everything up. Unless we have a certain fucking stamp on our passport. So, do you think that's going to, like, evolve? Like, probably. It's going to get worse from COVID, right? Dude, we the people are gonna fucking make a stand, bro. It's gonna evolve into us wearing little like stars on our chest to tell us if we have in striped pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna wear a little star in your chest if you're vaccinated or unvaccinated. I don't know. It that hasn't happened in history, luckily. Marking people for <laughs> certain reasons. <laughs> Yeah, like barcodes or numbers or anything. That's never <laughs> happened. <laughs> Certain camps. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, man, I don't know. And I guess I'll, I'll shift to this because this was one of my topics. The Neuralink that Elon Musk is going to come up with and has, has made some decent progress on it. Um, so I guess he's been, they've already been testing animals with a Neuralink. Really? So how does that make sense? How does an animal and a computer connect like if the animal like has to shit then the computer will like spray Febreze you know what I mean like yeah, right. like how how do they test an animal in a neural link where do they insert that chip you know it's brain bro isn't the brain like the size of the chip for most animals <laughs> true <laughs> that they're testing it on well how big is the, I can't see the chip being like no the big. chip's like this big but like a squirrel brain is the true. same exact size like I'm guessing true. they're using dogs or monkeys which is a a little bigger, but like a fist, you know? It's not like... So for a human, they're going to place it in the skull. Where... Dude, I ain't getting that thing. Dude. Where the fucking neurons... You ever watch brain... Black Mirror? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck that. I watched my first episode the other day. Like, just... I was like, oh, I'll watch this with my girlfriend. I was like, I'm tri am I tripping right now? Dude, I was like... Black Mirror is like... For I'm how... getting anxiety just right. watching this show, right. dude. That's like how 2020 can expand to the rest like the next couple decades are black mirror <laughs> like, right, yeah. you know but i don't know yeah neural links that they're already they're already uh testing on fucking animals and shit i don't know do you think that that's going to evolve how how soon type of thing you remember that episode of futurama with the iphone no. uh, they just jam they just jam something in his eye for an iphone no really iphone no. and then um i don't know they just send him advertisements to his brain while he's sleeping <laughs> I so that's, that's I feel what like... it's gonna be you ever try to download yeah. you ever try to download and play a game on your phone it's just ads ads and ads everything's just fucking ads. Like, oh, I gotta take a shit but first watch this advertisement from <laughs> Tesla <laughs> oh yeah you're not gonna be able to use the toilet paper until you watch an ad it's so weird bro I feel like someone could just like I feel like yeah. they're gonna do it and someone's gonna be like watch this it'll dude. it'll be <laughs> fucked it'll be fucked yeah um I don't know. So, yeah, he said he's going to start human trials in the next year. And that was August of 2020. So, by August 2021, hopefully, we'll have some human trials for the Neuralink. How much money would it take you to do that? I'm going to guess around 10K if you want to get the Neuralink. No, like for them to be, for you to be a dummy, how much would they have to give you? Oh, for me? $250,000. See, I was thinking that. That's not enough. That's low. 
Because they could just stream shit right to your brain. So what happens if it, like, dude, that could fuck up? You're like the dummy, dude. I'd have to say at least a mil. Like, after taxes. Not an, enough to live comfortably for the rest of my life. Yeah. Because, like, they're inserting a chip into your brain. Yeah, they could fuck you up forever. The way they're describing it is that the chip will not affect your brain because of where it's placed into your skull. So they're putting it on a, on a layer of your skull where they have to connect nodes of your brain to that fucking... That's so fucked up. So they're going to connect wires, basically. It'll just be like Wasn't wires. Wasn't it for, like, fucked up people? Yeah, it'll be, like, to, to correct uh, Alzheimer's and shit like, like that. that stuff. Which, uh, people that can't fucking walk. Parkinson's. And... Michael J. Fox will be fucking Michael J. Uh, Turtle, you know? He'll actually be normal from fucking... Because <laughs> 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 he's fucking all jiggity, you know? Um, but, yeah, I don't know. I think 250... If it's not going to cause some serious shit like that. But you're right. If there's a chance of them causing some issues, it's probably like 10 mil. <laughs> I'd do it for a mil. Mil? That's a good number. After and they have taxes, it to good... give away. You think they're going to make you pay taxes on the money they give you? Yes. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. I pay taxes for working overtime, guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Elon Musk is like the second richest person in the world now, right? I... I think so. Something like that. Yeah. I don't know who he's passed, but he passed someone. It's now Jeff Bezos, then him. And then Jeff Bezos' wife. Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. Yeah. And then his dog. Yeah. <laughs> that fuck that guy. Dude, I would love to be Jeff Bezos' ex-wife. Are you serious? All I had yeah. to do was just date this piece of shit, and now I have fucking... Get a couple of loads And now I'm the richest me, person in the world without working, like, woman in the world without working. Right? So she has to be the richest up, woman dude. in the world, I would think. Yeah. She is. Easily, I would think. No, nah, I think I, it's some weird lady, I think. It's like an Asian lady? Richest woman? I would imagine if it's not her, it would have to be like... Mackenzie Bezos. No, is it? Mm-hmm. No shit, dude. What a dumb bitch. <laughs> like, Damn! Right under like her, a... Julia Koch and family is $55.8 Isn't that an attorney's office? Coke brothers' wife, I think. Ew. Well, how much is she worth? Fifty-five point eight billion. And the Bezos bitch is fifty-nine point six billion. So she—they're hella close. Like for doing nothing, or is that his current wife? Mackenzie Bezos. Uh, It does say Bezos. That might be the current wife. For doing nothing. (laughs) Still doing nothing. If it's his wife, too. That's nearly sixty billion. With a B, bro. With a B. <laughs> Jeff Bezos looks so fucking funny. Dude, he looks like a fucking, like... Like, he'd be like a cast of a Star Wars That's empire, like, dude. Right. If Will Smith was white and suffering from some disease, that's him. Depression. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh, my God. Dude, you're telling me this dude has the most money in the world, bro, and he right? can't get hair transplant. Right. <laughs> like, I, dude, I want to get hair transplant dude, now, bro. fucking Burt Kreischer is using that shit, and he has a full head of hair, and he's not even a millionaire to my dude, knowledge. I had a dream that that guy died. Oh. Because he was so fat. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, damn, he's dead. And I woke up, and I was like, did he actually die? Like, oh, like, shit. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I was like, oh, no, he's still kicking. Yeah, no, he's still good. He's still good. He's still good. How much money would it take for you to open up your mouth as wide as it couldn't suck on the top of his head? Not that much, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Probably, uh... As much as he wants to pay me, yeah, to be right, honest yeah. with you. I'll just do it. Yeah. I don't know. What if someone was like, all right, I'll give you ten grand to, to tongue from his nose to the back of his neck? Fuck... He's that sounds paying me. Gross. Yeah, I don't think that's He's that bad. He's paying me. Yeah, I'd say twenty-five million dollars, dude. He'd be like, oh, "Okay, that's fine." Okay, that's... he says, "Take it or leave it." Ten G's. Ten grand. No, that's fine. I'd do it. Right? <laughs> I'd probably do that for a thousand. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I wouldn't actually. A thousand, I'd, I wouldn't. I'd do it for free and then sue him. <laughs> right. He made me do it. <laughs> he had a gun. He didn't tell you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, would you rather live in a small house with fifty cats? Or a big house with 50 dogs? Cats. Small house with 50... This size apartment, 50 cats. Ooh, I don't know, or actually. big house, at least two stories, 50 dogs. Yeah, but dogs are a lot of work. Cats, you just got... Cats can be, though. You just leave a f- fucking bunch of food out and clean their shit, that's all. Out of 50. 
I don't know. It's either your house smells like piss and shit, or your house smells like piss and shit. <laughs> your house is going to smell like piss and shit. I think I'd do cats, dude, because that's a lot less maintenance, dude. If you think about it. Because a dog, bro, you got to let him in, and then another dog want to go out. And you let a bunch out, and you let them in, you're like, all right. And then, like, oh, wait, I want to go out. Cats, bro, you're just like, you're like, do your thing, man. I'd say, yeah, I'd say cats. I mean, I like dogs, but cats are, cats can, cats they can just, survive they on just themselves. They just sleep and shit, dude. And they don't need you. And don't need to, go, yeah. And they'll eat you if you die in there. <laughs> right. So they'll be good for a while. Can't tell if someone died there because the corpse is gone and the cats are just all fucking meow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right though. Cats would probably be the easier, like a lot less cleanup. Out of those Until 50 they start dogs, shit and pissing everywhere. There's dude. probably 30 dogs out of those 50 that are uh, that are going to be destroying furniture and fucking. Cats fuck a lot of shit up though too. That's yeah, true. I feel like dogs. Yeah, so either way, that's going to be horrible. I would, but the main. I don't know. So if 50 dogs in like a two-story house, you're not you're not fucking with all 50 dogs all the time. You'll probably be with five of them at most. You know what I mean? You got a lot more space. You got you, it is a lot more cleanup though. <laughs> it's a lot of dogs. A lot dude. of dogs. Are they big dogs? Yeah. yeah fuck that, dude. Yeah. Not cat-sized dogs. Yeah. Yeah, we gotta specify the kind of dogs. 50 cat-sized dogs or 50 so- dog-sized cats. <laughs> <laughs> what a bunch. Bunch of little dash hounds running around, little hot dog, wiener dogs. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. That'd be like pretty a bunch, funny. A bunch of like bulldogs, dude. That'd be right. sick, dude. I'd do okay. bulldogs. Those things are fucking the shit, dude. Right. Yeah, no, that'd be that'd be wild. A like bunch great of great Danes. Danes. Yeah, fuck <laughs> that, dude. Fifty great Danes? Oh my god. No, that'd be that'd be too much. <laughs> That's when you learn how to cook dog and eat it. <laughs> Dude, I heard that animals don't taste that bad. Yeah, Cats no. And dogs. Pretty sure humans taste really good too. Pork. I think humans taste like amazing, but people like don't want to spread that knowledge. <laughs> right. yeah. People be like, you know what? I'll try it. Bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you had to cook and eat a person. What type of person would they be? Yeah. I'm talking color, like let's get racial with it, and then uh, size, and then all of sorts of things. Asian, they eat good, so it's get, like get more into height, weight, a tall, just an average person of Asian descent. Okay, because they eat good, dude. They're clean. But what if like, because there's a lot of Asians. What if the average is like? Opium den. What? That's just racist. It's not the average. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that's probably a good one. Think about it, like yeah. India, bro. There's a lot of them. They stink. That's just seasoning. I'm going curry. I'm going Southern American. Oh fuck, fat man, dude. That's... They they need to be fat. They need to eat pretty unhealthy. But then it ain't gonna taste good, dude. It's gonna taste amazing. That's gonna taste. It's gonna be the most fucked up. Like it's fast food, basically. That's McDonald's in a in a person. Other Think than about Asian, bro, they love their sushi. And so rice, it's gonna taste dude. like healthy fish. I'm going for the unhealthy, good tasting. You know what I, I don't mean? Think they taste good, dude. <laughs> I don't know. I was thinking like free range chicken. So like a California yogurt, yoga, yogurt, <laughs> yoga instructor. That's like free like range vegan. chicken. Yeah, vegan. Eats Thinking grass. they're eating, they're eating healthy. It's, yeah, it's the wagyu of the human, yeah. probably. She's probably getting ma- massaged all the time, just like the wagyu beef. Nice and tender and shit. Dude. Exa- Yo, exactly. That's a good one. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna switch to Scotland. <laughs> the average Scottish male. They actually eat like really. They eat really well, and they all have like they, it's a lot of farmland type of thing. So they eat really well. They True. drink a ton of beer. They're all fucking. You know what I mean? It'll have a nice juicy, fatty type of. I don't. I'd say the same thing about just like the average white person. It's probably gonna taste like shit. But I'm thinking a fat yeah. person is gonna taste real good. I don't think so, man. No. We'll experiment. We'll get some people. The fat in we'll most put a, meats. We'll put a post on Craigslist. We will eat you for free. <laughs> <laughs> Bacon tastes like it has some of the best tasting meats, and 
And that's the fattest part of a pig. That's the fattest, you know. True. So you gotta think like the the but they human don't eat bacon. McDonald's, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> that is rolling eat, mud. Yeah. And shit. They eat like apples and like and like. They eat good shit. Right. Dude. Like vegetables. That's what I'm saying Asian people, bro. That's a good. That's a good argument. That's a good argument. I didn't think of what the animals eat. That's yeah. a good argument. All right. So I don't, did you see <laughs> the most recent Bad Friends episode? Yes. So where they did like the quizzes, the Thanksgiving quiz type uh, shit. Yeah. We should do a quiz type of thing where Huddy is gonna gonna look up. So we just have to guess something, then Huddy looks up the answers, and then we'll see how many we can get right. First person to five points. So uh, what's the quiz on? No idea. Got any ideas? I didn't. I haven't thought about one. Nine eleven. Um, I don't know. The Civil War. How about? <laughs> names of natural disasters. And Hurricane. don't look it up yet because I'll be able to see it. Yeah. Hurricane Katrina. And we have to get at least five. There has to be more than ten each, right? Well there has a to be lot more of than natural eight. disasters. Yeah, true. I didn't I didn't specify that. This is a little vague. Yeah. Alright. Next week. We'll think of a game. <laughs> we'll think of a game. We'll think of a game. We'll, of a game. we'll come back to it. Yeah. I mean we can dive into uh Dave Chappelle. How long have we been going? Do we have a That shit's whack. What? Dave Chappelle. Yeah, the Unforgiven thing. Yeah. So Dave Chappelle is Unforgiven. Uh, he basically is asking all of his fans if they've ever loved, listened, or just done anything, enjoyed Dave Chappelle to not stream the Chappelle show because he's not getting paid for any of that. That's so fucking dirty, And it's dude. up everywhere. It's on Hulu, Amazon Prime, Netflix. Oh, it's on Hulu, it's too? It's on all the fucking... Actually, I don't know about Hulu. I didn't check. But... I know Netflix said, all right, we'll take it down. That's so I just started watching up. it too, dude. I was so pissed. I watched almost all of it. I was so, like, God damn yeah, it. I kind of feel bad now, but like, dude, that's the same struggle that like musicians and artists have been dealing with their entire life. But like, why wouldn't Netflix just pay him? Because it's not a part of the contract. They wouldn't be paying him. They'd be paying the label that owns the rights to they the Chappelle show. They just can't like give him money. Yeah. So no matter what, if you watch anything about the Chappelle show, no matter where you stream it on, he's not getting paid for that. It's going to who, whatever the label is that bought it, which I think is Comedy Central. I think Comedy Central bought it. Fuck, they're going out of business, bro. So they're getting fucking paid all that shit. So the it's only like, thing keeping them alive, dude. Yeah. yeah I'm running. I don't, that, that shit's fucked up, dude. Like, pay that fucking man. It's called the Chappelle show. I know. Like, how he could you not He's like, him? I want to do another Chappelle show, but I can't call it the Chappelle show. Dude, he could do it, too. Dave Chappelle, he could do a fucking The Dave Show, and it would be fucking... Yeah. Well, I guess Dave is... Uh, but yeah. he could do anything, and people would fucking stream it. Like, he's Dave Chappelle. Dude, that'd be, that'd be fucking good. Fucking that'd be fucking dope. <laughs> and it'd be so controversial, too. Yeah. Especially for 2020. What do you think he... Do you think he could do another skit show? Oh, fuck yeah. Right? But have like all the comedians in it now, dude. It'd be difficult though, cause like Tosh.0, he really got the skit webcam clip thing down. It's not really skits, but like the webcam clips, that whole setup, yeah. the audience. Well, I think he would just do skits again, dude. I feel just like it'd just be skits. like the Chappelle show again. He could do it. You think he could do it? I mean, did you watch his stand up on Netflix? Yeah. Yeah, he still got it. Yeah. I mean, he's a goat, dude. Yeah. He needs to get back with Neil Breen, though, the head writer from yeah. the Chappelle show. Yeah. Just that whole that whole crew was insanely funny. He's and I watched goat, the DVD dude. set I bought like 10 years ago, though. Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> just, just, I'm just making sure. But yeah, no, Dave Chappelle still got it. He's... He might be one of the funniest comedians around. He, he's like the Richard Pryor of our day. Bro, he's been doing fucking stand-up since he was like 14, yeah. dude, in clubs. He is. That's a great analogy. He is the Richard Pryor of like our gen. I'd say him and Bill Burr the top in, in the top three of all time. Dude, want to know who's wicked under look still? It's Dane Cook. Dane Cook, yeah. But I think he just had some real misses. So not all of his stand-ups hit like that. He had a but lot of them that bro, were not that he good. He brought a lot up that, like... Oh, yeah. Like, internet-wise, like... Yeah. He spent millions on MySpace alone and right. fucking that. I think, like... And he went completely broke. Did for you know someone... That? Exactly. For someone to come up with the internet, with the MySpace generation, with all of us, he's yeah. probably the top one. 
feel like he's underlooked like that way, dude. Yeah. Like, think about like Andrew Schultz. Like he's just internet, bro. He's like the new one. I would like, say. Like he's just yeah. like, oh, I know him from YouTube. Yeah. Or fucking. I do think if Dane Cook was just ten out of ten of all of his, I mean, obviously what comedian is, but yeah. I think he just had some misses that were really highlighted. <laughs> he had some low shows that were fucking, yeah. He was ahead of his time, really. He was. It was, um, plus I think he shot too high, too fast. I mean, he started doing movies and stuff like that. and Those are, eh. I love Employee of the Month, dude. That movie's a shit. Employee of the Month is good. Waiting. I've never yeah. seen it. Waiting's good. Um. But, like, Good Luck Chuck was, like... That's what I'm thinking. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm that was a... Sh- I mean, it wasn't a bad movie. You got to see Jessica Alba in it. But other than that, I mean... I don't know. Dude, I think I he think... just... He burned up, He burned too fast and bright. Yeah. That was <laughs> directly up to... <laughs> no, he, he really did. Yeah. He, it seemed like he was going on the Adam Sandler road, but didn't have the push for it. Yeah. So then he never really got up there. And it like wasn't... you said, Good Luck Chuck is just... It was a good romantic type of it was hot like garbage. a exactly like a drime, or a drama crime not drama crime drama romance whatever the fuck those are called but it wasn't that good so it yeah. just had some funny moments in it. The push Dan Cook didn't have was he's Adam a... Stanla. Oh, because he's a Jew. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not anti-Semitic, guys. If you're wondering. <laughs> I don't know. Have we ever said, have we said something about Huddy? About if he's like racist or anything before this episode? I don't think we ever. Right? I'm going to say it'd be really funny if we did. If we're just like, oh yeah, Huddy, that fucking white supremacist. And yeah, now he's, he's on. Like, he's fuck like... Jews. <laughs> dude, I can't believe Adam Sandler's going to die someday, dude. <laughs> he's like my hero, dude. He's the fucking man. He is one of the uh, goats. I think he's more. like the OG of our generation for like. Uh, I don't know. Like he's been out with movies since we were children. <laughs> like Jordan classic Madison, movies. Bro. Like big, Happy, yeah. Yeah. big daddy. Top three movies. Adam Sandler. Number one, Happy Gilmore. Number two, Billy Madison. Number three, Mr. Deeds. I would switch your one and two. I like Billy Madison. <laughs> then Happy Gilmore. And that's my boy. That is so underrated of all oh, of this movies. That's a newer one, right? Andy, with uh, Andy Samberg yeah, from Lonely Island. Okay, that is a good one. Just go with it. Uh, just go with it. That's my boy is in my top three. I don't know why I said just go with it. Well, I that's think one of his. So. Is that on Netflix? Is that why I'm thinking that? I think so. Yeah. We need a third mic. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I have the. it's all going to be by next week. <laughs> we'll have the whole setup done. This is just interim shit. Yeah, I, I'm going to go with um, I'm gonna go with Happy Gilmore. Fucking love that movie, That's my dude. boy. And little Nicky. Oh. Little Nicky's a is a is a uh what what are they called? A sleeper. My sleeper I pick. Seen that yeah, I feel movie like a lot of people that they, they don't bring it up that much with a lot of his good movies because it was kind of dumb, but it was amazing. I fucking love that movie. The first Grown Ups wasn't bad either. That was kind of like a good like Adam Sim movie. That's like a family like. movie. Because Click is kind of like in the field of grown-ups where it's more family-oriented, kind of an actual storyline to it. Not uh, like... he's, that dog's fucking the shit out of things, dude. <laughs> yeah. Movie. Yeah, I don't know. I think people just don't like him. Like, we're from the same area he's from, so, like, we know people. I know, dude. I live right down we... the street from where we went to high school. That's Yeah, wild. we, like, think... know people that are similar to the characters he plays. So it's like... True. Relatable. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. And Hubie Halloween was actually not bad. Good so that was a fun. Everybody should take movie. that back. That that was a good movie. Some lady lost her job over that movie, dude. I think that, that's yeah, one of those. He posted that on Facebook. Yeah, the news reporter from Boston. Yeah, that's one of those movies though where they were like, because before that he was like, oh, I'm gonna put out the worst movie that you guys ever saw because he didn't get an Oscar for fucking uh, uh the Uncut, Uncut Gems. Gems. So that is a fucking. That's number three. People actually. thought that is amazing. Oh, bro, dude, what? that's one of the greatest movies. If that's I've on ever Netflix seen. still. You gotta watch it. That's I totally forgot. Really about that fucking movie. good. That's in my top three. Really? Yeah. What would you bump out for it? Fucking mm. uh, Big Mr. Daddy. D? You bumping out Big Daddy for yeah, your dude. uncut gems? That might. 
I cut James might be number two. That's if really not, good. I think that's my number, number four. One, dude. I think that's my number four. That's in the top three. That's yeah. such a fuck. It's because it's real. It's not a comedy. It's completely it's different. It's real. Dude. Like, that's fucking good. That's one of the reasons I was going to say click, too, because it's not just comedy. It's kind of real, but... Dude, fuck. That movie's so good. Dude, I want to watch that again. Yeah, I might watch that again, too. Yeah. Did you watch Django yet? No. You've seen Django Unchained? Of course. Bro, this fucking kid still has this I like, don't masterpiece want to watch it, of a movie, dude. <laughs> it's so fucking good. I mean, it's like three hours, so you got to like set a Jesus whole day. Christ. You yeah. have to set a whole day aside just to watch that movie. Yeah. Maybe I'll do it today. Good fucking shit, dude. It's good fucking shit. You hear the, the crank of the mm-hmm. mic? That's what it's going to pick up on in this shit. So. Just going to turn the limiter up. and Yeah, with fucking three mic stands, we'll be fine anyway. Yeah, so exactly. Yeah, we won't need to worry about it. Dude, I've been trying to get another one of those end tables. I've gone to Walmart three times, and they're still sold out. No, really? I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, Did you do any Black Friday shopping? I, I might today, but... I didn't. I looked online, bro, and there was like nothing. I was like, it's not even worth... Nothing on Amazon, really, either. The only thing I'm going to get is an end table. <laughs> yeah, I don't have thing. It's like, all right, I could just go another time. I'm go- I might go to Guitar Center in fucking Manchester, though, to uh, get a, a keyboard. Because they're only like thirty bucks, and they're originally like a buck fifty. So a keyboard, yeah, like a fucking piano. Yes, bro, I want a piano so bad. Yeah, dude. I'm really good at the piano. I played the piano for. I know how to play Jurassic Park. Yeah, I know how to play Beethoven. <laughs> it's a little different. A little different. <laughs> yeah, um, I was gonna say something about Adam Sandler too, but I completely forgot. Um, we could take a break. I do kind of have to piss. Check, check. We're good. Penis, penis. <laughs> Have you ever, um, you, you said, have you ever gone to Whiskey's in Manchester? Or any club, I guess, dancing club, particularly? I went to the one next door. Manch Vegas? Yes, so Manch Vegas. Like a club club. No, that place is a little more bar, pub type style. That place is sick. Dude, so dope bowl. with the bull, right? Yeah. yeah, that place is dope as fuck. So, um... I uh, was thinking about, I went to a concert and a club, this happened twice to me, in Manchester last year, and I uh, was with this girl, so I was with um, his girlfriend at the time, and then she brought like a friend that was a girl. I was under the impression for me, (laughs) but it wasn't. She had a boyfriend, both times, two separate girls, both had boyfriends. So when (laughs) we're dancing in the clubs, they're like grinding up on me and like dancing and like doing all sorts of shit so do you think it's wrong for someone in that position to be like grab like holding them and like touching their hips and shit while they're dancing they initiate it they're grinding on me yeah they're being silly right then if i was the boyfriend i'd be fucking pissed i'd be like yo uh put your same shit with holding tricks guy yeah i guess (laughs) yeah i don't know i don't know have you ever been to like a club where like some girls no, so clubs. dancing on you. Club guy. Yeah. What about you? You ever been to it? Yeah, and I just drank and sat at the bar the whole time because <laughs> I didn't want to deal with that. Luckily, I wasn't dating anybody at the time. Some girl once came up to me and asked me like about myself and like, like trying to talk to me. And I was like, I just blew her off because I that's never happened to me before. <laughs> This is a scam. This is yeah. What do you? Not you want money? ISIS. You want money? You whore? <laughs> no, I'm not doing whatever you want. But yeah, uh, I mean, I've been approached by a girl before at a bar, a club. Do you think that's wrong in that situation for me? Yes, I do. Yeah. Uh, Did you know prior to that? No. No, no. I had no idea, but I didn't touch them. That's the thing. I didn't actually do anything. I just let them grind on me, and I just got if hard. You didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just let them do their thing, though, and I wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't touch them, but like, I mean, would ask me. He's like, "Yeah, so like, you know, why didn't you like ask her for a number or anything? Why didn't you like hit her up?" I was like, "She has a boyfriend." Like, the her friend told me after that she has a boyfriend, mm. so I wasn't gonna be like, "Oh, well, hit me up," type of thing. But like, right? Yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty sure I've had some girlfriends that have done that too. So (laughs) (laughs) I don't know who's wrong in the situation, but I I thought about it. I was like, well, I don't know if that's really my fault. Like, if I'm touching on your girl, she doesn't make it clear that she is a boy. Then fuck you. If you didn't know, fuck it. Right? I don't know. It's a good way to get punched in the face, though. Especially if he's there (laughs) watching. From the chair. What the fuck is going on? This is bullshit. Sitting at the bar, like, 
fucking You're sick. mine. Yeah. All right, I have another random scenario. So this kid, he's like seven or eight years old. I don't know how old the kid actually was. I think in the scenario he was 10 or 11 years old, so I guess we'll go with that. He has a father who's 26, so he had him real young. He was like 15, 14 when he had him. Same thing with the mother. The math doesn't add up. I don't remember what it was. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much the guy was like 15 or 14, and so was the girl when they had this kid. So they were wicked fucking young. The guy is now 25, 26 years old and learns that he is into men. He does not like women. Is it wrong that he... Should he hide it, basically, from the woman? Should he tell the girl that, like, oh, I don't know, I, I don't want to, like... I want to be with dudes, even though the kid is going to now have two dads and a mom. I don't know. You know, you know get, three get the dads, scenario. bro. Yeah, it's a lot of baseball time, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It'd be like, nah. He probably should, because I could like fuck up the kid, bro. Because then he'd right. be a miserable little cunt. But the kid is at that point. He's already like nine or ten years old. He's like, well, yeah, my dad's gay, and he's not with my mom anymore. <laughs> is that like that's just that's just it? That's the end of it. I yeah. I feel like he'd be more fucked up if he didn't say anything. I do, yeah, I like, agree. He kept it to himself. Right. He just fucked dudes in the low. And he just, like, fingered his ass in the shower and shit. Right. Without... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I, uh, apparently, it was, like, a big debate. That Is this, like, dude... a real thing? Yeah, it's oh. a real thing. And I, I guess the dude, like, didn't tell the woman and, like... They're like praising him for. I kind of heard something like that where she like told him and like they still stayed married and like he still like hung out with dudes to like keep the family together. Okay, she was so like, they, "Yeah, that's fine." They but, were like, aware. We'll stay together, but like yeah, we'll do our own thing. Right. He was like, "That's fine." Yeah. Okay. It's like something like that, which is kind of fucking wild, dude. Yeah, that is still wild. My wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. You know Jack Nicholson's in his eighties. Or you know Bob Barker is 96 and still alive. Bob Barker is 96? He's like 96 and 98, dude. Holy fuck. I thought he died. I, I thought he's been alive I was watching still. fucking uh, Happy Gilmore last time. I'm like, damn, I can't believe he died. And I didn't I think like, he was that old. He's not dead yet. I'm like, he's dead. I thought he was in like his late 60s when Adam Sandler movie, Happy Gilmore came out when he was in that movie. Wasn't he in like his late yeah, 60s? Came, the 70s, bro. That came out in 96, 24 years ago. Damn. He was, he was like 70. Wait, Happy Gilmore came out in 96? Yeah. I was only one years old when that movie came out. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> yeah. Classic. classic. I can't believe Jack Nicholson's in it. I yeah, think of like weird. The Departed. Or Anger Management. That's another really good Adam Sandler movie, dude. Anger it Management's is, yeah. fucking classic. Jesus. The Shining, dude. That's the not Adam Shining, Sandler, man. but Jack Nicholson. Yeah. Dude, you know that creepy little kid that played in the movie? Not like the, the his son? In The Shining? Yeah. Yeah. Didn't know it was a horror movie. Really? Until they completed the whole movie and then they told him. They, they was like, they're like, oh, this movie's about like a... You guys just live in an abandoned hotel. And he was like, oh, okay. We then, played it really well for not yeah, knowing. Dude. What the hell? <laughs> they were scared it was going to scare him. Oh, that's smart. And then the kid the end, was young. Yeah, and at fuck. the end, they're like, yeah, this is a horror movie, you little prick. <laughs> 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 little shit, guess what? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. If you were to uh, create... Well, I guess we don't really have a movie like that. What, what's a Thanksgiving movie? Is there a Thanksgiving movie? There's Christmas movies, Halloween movies. Is there a Thanksgiving There's movie? There's probably some goofy ass like horror one where yeah. like a turkey fucking kills everyone or some like shit. Like Attila the Hun. <laughs> there is. It's called Thanks Killing. I've watched it. There is something. Like it. They have like ten different Thanks Killing movies, and they're all absolute garbage. Dude, we should make one where it's like when we fuck all the Indians up, dude. Well, that's what I don't was... have a movie like that though. That's what like, I was gonna say. Where it's like... a yeah, like where it's like. So we should. This have a... is my land. I'm like, oh, <laughs> this is an apple pie. We should have a Thanksgiving movie where it's like us murdering raping and raping and Native Americans, and that'd be sick, dude. And we're just celebrating a turkey at the end of it. Like, we hey. should do it. Let's make a low budget quality film. You in? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um. I don't. If you had to create a movie. 
and it's specific to a holiday, what type of movie would you create? What would it be? It's gotta go. You gotta go Christmas movie, guy. Yeah. Christmas movie. What Everyone would you do? Everyone loves Christmas movies. What would you do for it? I'm Santa Claus, but I impregnate every woman in the world. <laughs> okay. I'm guessing there's gonna be a few sequels. <laughs> <laughs> Just everyone wakes up and they're like nine months pregnant the next day. Like I don't know what happened. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. I'd want to make a movie as a parody of every holiday, but the evil version. So it's the Easter Bunny, except the Easter Bunny finds you and rapes you and fuck you, and your skull fucks you and then beats the shit out of you and then leaves Valentine's a basket Day, of bro, he fucking just puts arrows right through your head. Yeah. Cupid just comes up and pierces your dick with an arrow. <laughs> fucking shit like that, you know? I feel like that wouldn't be a bad idea. You got anything in mind? If you were to create a movie for a holiday? A Labor Day. Just going to work. It <laughs> It would be awful. <laughs> or Arbor Day, like trees just. Uh, Arbor well, they Day. Have the, well, they have that movie, the Mark Wahlberg movie, where like the trees kill everybody. That's pretty much. Oh, the, the mist. That, yeah, the, oh, happening. the happening. Yeah, that's an Arbor Day movie, I guess. Technically, an Arbor Day horror movie. That movie's fucked, dude. Dude, the mist is pretty good. I forgot about that movie. They're all in the convenience store. Most of <laughs> that movie was kind of cool. Was that was that Marky Mark? I thought that was a different no. person, right? Yeah. yeah. I, but the happening is fucking. They're driving through the woods, right, and all the fucking people are hanging from the trees and shit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the mist was Thomas Jane, the Punisher. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. The mist. Dude, my fucking favorite movie is for like weird, like creepy movies. Is probably Signs, bro. Really. I'm not going to lie, dude. I'm still sticking with the ha- Cloverfield. House of a Thousand Corpses. Or Silent Hill. Ooh. Good fucking movie. But House of a Thousand Corpses, The Devil's Reject, and the third <laughs> That's one. That's such a goofy movie. Why did <laughs> the other day again, fucking dude? Fucking movies, dude. They're dark. Yeah. Science is really good. I love when they're fucking when they're in the closet watching all the Mexican people. He's like, I'm the landlady. Move, move you on the TV. I fucking die every time at Have that. Have you seen that House of Wax? Maybe. Good fucking Definitely weird Definitely heard movie. of it. The it's... new one or the old one? There's two of them. The one with Paris Hilton, I'm assuming you're talking about. Probably. Early 2000s? Yeah, that's when it came out. It's based off a different movie. What's the original House of Wax. No, it's something else. It's I don't know if it's House of Wax, but there's like an old 70s, maybe oh. 60s. Like, I didn't know it was a remake. Yeah, it's a remake of a different movie. It's the same exact concept, but better. Not shitty with Paris Hilton in it. <laughs> I love fucking House of Wax. I thought that movie was pretty good. I, didn't, I, I kind of agree, though. I think the acting in it was a little poor, but the idea of the movie was fucking... I don't think I've seen it. Dude, they literally walk into... There's just one scene. The house is... Everything in it's made out of wax, and then one of the like wax things is a person, and it's an actual live person that was dipped in wax and is fucking stuck in that spot. Okay, maybe I... I know, okay. Yeah, so like they peel the wax off, and it's like his skin peeling off. Like, Yeah, I don't know. Good weird shit. We do need to have a Thanksgiving movie. Yeah. Like way back. Yeah. I feel like the Ridiculous Six, how they just incorporate like the Wild West Native American type thing. They could do something like that and do a Thanksgiving movie. I feel like I've seen that movie. Is that the one with... Adam Sandler's Ridiculous Six on Netflix? Yes, okay. Yeah. No, is Seth MacFarlane in that one? No, that's A Thousand Ways to Die in the Wild West. <laughs> okay, that's, yeah, okay, that's the other one. That is pretty good, too. It's not bad. Yeah. No, I like that one. Um, did you see, I don't know if you're a fan of them, did, have you seen the Wolverine movies? Not the newest one. So, Logan, Logan I've never probably seen the that. best Marvel movie I've ever seen in my life. That might be my favorite movie of all time, um, just because I'm obsessed with the X-Men comics. And I, really? Is I have it? all those oh, comics and shit. I've never seen that one. Dude, it's, Wait, that's a Marvel movie? Yeah. Well, all the Wolverines are technically, all the X-Men are Marvel. It's just not a part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, if oh. that's what you're thinking. Yeah, yeah it's not like, like a, with I could Hulk. watch that on Disney, bro, but yeah, I don't no. think no, so. Uh, Disney does own the rights to all the Marvel, like Iron Man and all that shit pussies but they're saying wolverine might come back for a final 
movie because I mean I don't want to spoil Logan for you, but he dies. dies. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so how does he? So I think they'd have him come back. <laughs> it looks so funny. Just got flaccid. Um, <laughs> they're gonna have him come back for like a Marvel Universe type of movie. Marvel. Well, he'll come in with either one of the Iron, like like uh, with Thor or something like that, or what they're leading with Deadpool. is Deadpool. Because Ryan Reynolds has been trying to do that for a decade now. I think they Deadpool's really badass. Yeah, That's a badass I fucking love Deadpool's. Have I've you never seen... seen Deadpool two though. Real fucking good. Is Somehow it... better than the first. Really, I heard yeah. it wasn't. That's why I was like, Ugh. special effects were a little. You could tell Sony is like, yeah, we're not going to put that much into this movie. But oh, I forgot they're Sony too. Yeah, but it's amazing. Like it's. Ryan Reynolds is Dude, I gold. wish Xbox would come with a Spider-Man game, dude. Mm, that's so dumb. Yeah, don't own the rights. It's another reason why I want to buy a PS5 is to play Spider-Man games. I don't know if this is true, but it was rumored that they're in production of remaking a new classic original Halo series for the new Xbox. Yeah, you think Wolverine should come back? Hugh Jackman, come back one more time? He's probably old as fuck now, too, dude. No, yeah, he's probably like 50. Really? Yeah, I don't think he's that old. But I do think he should come into uh, Deadpool if he does come back. That'd be fucking sweet. Deadpool 3, him and fucking Wolverine. And... Yeah. Would they be on the same side or enemies? I don't know. They probably would be enemies at first, but then be on the same side. I hate how there's so many different things yeah. of those cartoons, bro. There's so many different It's comics. cool like if you read the comics and shit, but it's like... Well, they, they're still coming out with new comics. <laughs> it's so they're constantly wild. changing the story. It's like, okay... So I had fucking read a comment where you're like, Deadpool is bad. No, yeah, and that is actually everyone up. one of the best comics of all time. It's pretty good. Evil Deadpool. Yeah. He murders children. It's wicked fucking good. So, Mike Tyson and uh, Roy Jones Jr. Is that this weekend? Supposedly tomorrow. I'm interested in watching that, but I don't want to spend a dollar. I don't want to buy it for. I think That's it's only like gonna... 55 bucks, but I still don't want to buy That's it. That's something that I'm going to get illegally if I watch it. It's no knockouts and no winner. They announced that. No Did you see that? Right? Yeah. I, I don't know about headshots, but I know they said no knockouts, no knockouts or no winners. So, so I don't know what the point, the point of point? it is. Why don't they just hug and lay down? <laughs> is that YouTuber fighting tomorrow too? No. Um, I think One I know who you're Paul, talking about. Jake Logan Paul. Paul. The Logan or Jake? Because I keep seeing like promotions of him. He's like, I'm not YouTubing, I'm fighting it now. Is it Jake Paul that does that right so. for some He's reason? He's a younger one. Yeah. Is that the blonde dude? I think they're both blonde. One of them's like a blonde Australian dude, right? Well, yeah, I don't know. But I I do want to see the Mike Tyson and Jones fight, but man, I just don't want... It's not worth... It's like 55 bucks or something? 65 yeah. bucks? That ain't worth it. If I can't see Mike Tyson fucking annihilate some old man's head, dude. Yeah. You know there's going to be a knockout in that. <laughs> the Jake Paul Nate Robinson. You know, the guy who played for, like, every team. He played on the Celtics. Short, tiny guy. He's, he's fighting He's him? fighting Jake Paul versus Nate Robinson. Saturday, November 28th, 8 p.m. Well, the 8 p.m. is the undercard, and 9 p.m. is their fight. On Thriller. I've never heard of that streaming service ever. And it says Jake Paul calls out Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor's coming back, dude. Jake Paul called out... Cr- Why? For a boxing match. Dude, shut the know. fuck up, Jake Paul. Are you <laughs> serious? Shut up. <laughs> Sit down. But McGregor's coming back. That's pretty exciting. He is, yeah. I I do want to buy that one. Is, yeah, that's, that's definitely something. Is I that know. January? I know it's a little far yeah. out. It's like January 20th or something. Ah, dude, I'm so pumped for him to start talking shit <laughs> yeah, again, dude. dude I can't like, wait for the fucking like, the run for it, dude. That was one thing, dude. That whole... Floyd and McGregor build up, man. I was entertained for a month before that yeah. fight fucking happened. And it wasn't a bad and fight. And it was dude. not a bad fight. Like, if he like can if he could condition more through like he was only like there for like the first like half. Yeah. And then he was gassed. Dude. Well, he May- was I was gonna say he, Mayweather was like, Oh, this is Mayweather my time. knew exactly what to do. Yeah. He's like, I'm I've fought for twelve rounds before. I'm yeah. gonna make this last long. <laughs> But it he worked. did. I feel like he gave him a show. Yeah, he did. He gave him a run for his money. I didn't see it. I blacked out before that. <laughs> I was drinking heavy before, and then don't remember the fight at all because I blacked out. I bet uh, fifty bucks on McGregor 
and I bet an extra 50 that he would knock Floyd out. So Pretty sure I bet that day, too. Safe to say that I lost 100 bucks to his <laughs> parents. <laughs> yeah, that was fucked up. But they were fucking flipping out those first three rounds. They were, like, losing their shit. I was like, I'm yeah. telling you guys, McGregor's winning this. Like, I'm telling you. And that yeah, didn't, didn't work. He should have a real good return. I'm sure Khabib pissed him the fuck off. Yeah. Was that his last fight? Yep. No, it was... Was it? Pretty sure. Right? Was he with that or the Cowboy? I think it was Cowboy. Oh, you might be right. McGregor? Yeah. Because he fucked him up in seven seconds with his goddamn shoulder. It wasn't... That I thought that was before. That wasn't before Khabib? I thought Khabib was... I last thought that fight. was the last fight, too. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was? Yeah, Khabib. I think that was right before Khabib. Not right before, but a little bit no. before Khabib. That was a dumb fight. Yeah. Khabib is such a funny name for, like, a Middle Eastern right, right. type. <laughs> Khabib, Khabib? My name is Khabib, my friend. Oh, yeah. Come back and tour my store, Khabib. Eric was right. It was against Motherfuckers. Donald, <laughs> Motherfuckers. Donald Cerrone. When was it? It was uh, January 18th. Oh. Was it this year? I don't remember. Yeah. yeah. Do you uh, know who he's fighting? I don't remember. Josh. Something. I was just about to look it up. And Justin. Dustin Poirier. Poirier. Oh, Poirier again. Yeah, they're fighting again. Fuck yeah. That, that was, was a good, good that fight. That was a good fight. That was a good ass too. fight. Hell yeah. Okay, I didn't know Poirier was fighting again. Um, That's good. A cult. Yeah, if you were to start a cult, what would it be? Killing molesters. You've been on this before, too. That's a good one. Killing chomos. But like black cloaks. <laughs> In black cloaks? Yeah. You're just walking around in black cloaks, yeah. killing chomos. <laughs> That's pretty good. I would, uh, I'd have a cult of, uh, of listening 45 to... and two zigzags. Sorry. <laughs> listening to classical music while, uh, skinning people. I don't know. Just bring me food. I'm cult of just people that just bring me food and money. I'll be good with that. Whole cult. Whole cult is just like, all right, yeah, we just have to uh, bring and gather for our master huddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, I would uh, do some really twisted thing while listening to classical music, and the first thing that came to my mind was skinning people, probably making them into lampshades, blankets, you know, stuff like that. Rugs. Rugs, carpets. Yeah. Buffalo Bill did that, right? Put people in lampshades. Buffalo Bill. Buffalo Bill. Shout out to Eminem. <laughs> You know he's uh, considering retiring. <laughs> I'm so over Eminem. I am too, dude. I don't give a fuck. When, like, <laughs> I, like when I was a kid, listening to it was cool, bro. But like yeah. now, I'm just like, I I've said this up, before. Dude. Someone's like, I don't understand why white people love Eminem so much, dude. We can rap along to his music. That was like a huge factor when I was a child. Like I was True. like, yeah. Two Trailer Park Girls go. You know what yeah. I mean? Like I was fucking, I was blasting that shit when I was a kid and. Yeah, I am over it. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. I guess Dr. Dre is like, I have a new album, which is funny because he's like 65. I know. That's and so uh, apparently Eminem's on it. And then they're like, Eminem's considering retirement. And I'm like, good. They good. both Please need to fucking hang it. it up, man. Just this thing, bro. It's like, he's going to retire, but then he's going to come with another song. And he's going to retire. Exactly. Come out of retirement. But that's why they say considering because mm. rappers don't retire, dude. As long as you can fucking breathe, you're going to keep making music. Or writing, oh, at least. So over it, bro. Who gives a shit? <laughs> Fucking Eminem. White trash. <laughs> <laughs> he is kind of, yeah, the definition of white trash. What are we looking at? How, how much is this on? Uh, 24 minutes now. All right, we could uh, probably wrap it up. Didn't have too, too long of an episode. Um, next week we might have a guest, but either way we'll have three mics. We could potentially have a fourth mic set up. Um, cause I have four mics, but the fourth mic is meant for recording music, not for podcasts. So it might be loud, but with this fucking thing, we can edit as much as we want. I can turn the mic all the way down. Fuck yeah. We got the shit. If you guys, uh, want to call in 603-922-4074, we'll listen to the voicemails, play them on the podcast or send us a text message. We'll respond. Still haven't gotten shit for a few weeks. Uh, haven't done IG questions. Just been slacking. Welcome. Email us at brutalview at gmail.com. Fuck our sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have any fucking sponsors. If you want to sponsor us, hit us up. <laughs> we don't really got shit, right? Got nothing to promote? Patreon. Patreon. 
uh, patreon.com slash TPP podcast. Get this virus over with. Yeah. Happy December 1st. Hope Thanksgiving was good. Pizza time. Yeah.